Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to watchers, cross watchers, new visitors, and subscribers, thank you so much. All right, Scorpio, we have a lot of energy here for you. Popping out, we have wisdom, okay? You have learned a lot in the past several years about what will really make you happy. There is a realization that you're coming to grips with and uh, really facing about the key to your happiness. The key to your happiness is you taking action and you really just, you know, being you, being the tour de force that you are. And anyone who is having trouble with that um, in terms of dealing with it, you know, you're just going to be true to yourself. It's really what this is calling you to do. You know what the key to your happiness is, and it looks like you're about to take action, Scorpio. Somebody is about to take action towards you. All right, so let's look and see what the overall energy is from the Tarot reading. So let's see Scorpio energy in the cards, please. What is the underlying theme of this week's reading, please? Okay. We have... Oh, you are hot to trot. <laughs> the horse is trotting. The Knight of Wands. You want some adventure. You want some fun. You want some laughter, some really good sex, and you are in it to win it. For you're in to have some fun. Nothing serious need happen this week as far as you're concerned. In the recent past, Seven of Swords, somebody's been a bit of a tricky dick here. It looks like there's been some dishonesty, some spying, or some sneaking around. This can be a relationship on the down low. We have the Queen of Cups. The current energy is affections are building, Scorpio. That's Cancerian energy. This is Aquarius energy. I would also say with the astrological aspects to the Aquarian energy, if you are doing anything secretive with a lover, it could be discovered because we have the planet Saturn sort of karma so just letting you know because i am an astrologer too so let's see what we have in terms of how your person views the situation they like it we have temperance card i don't know if you're seeing somebody who's come back into your life um, to renegotiate the relationship, to balance it out. That is my reconciliation card. So it does speak to the fact that your person wants to blend things. They want to make things work with you. It is Sagittarius energy, Jupiterian energy, always really kind, generous, free, very lovely energy. How they view you, Scorpio, Ace of Wands. You're the person who likes to take action. You are ruled by Mars, and Mars is one of the fire signs. With the Ace of Wands, they view you as a person who likes to initiate. We also see the energy in their heart space of Five of Wands. So it doesn't look like right now you're dating somebody with the, you know, with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. It looks like this person is, there are other people around that they are seeing, that they're dating. They might be on a dating app. It's, you know, it's good-hearted competition. There's nothing nefarious about this. It's usually all above board and all in the open. You know, you know the score, how they view the situation with you moving forward. Okay, Libra Queen. So they feel as though they have to be very balanced. They also, this is a person who wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They also feel as though being very honest right now in terms of what they want, what they expect, what they hope for in a relationship is very important. And they want that also from you. What is hidden in the energy between the two of you? We have the moon card. Oh, lots of emotions. There is a part of both of you that have a fear of the connection. The moon card is Pisces energy. It's the subconscious mind. So there is something about this that makes both of you a little bit uncomfortable. Your spidey senses are feeling, well, you feel like you might need some protection. The moon card is not a bad card, though. You know, it really is our inner workings. It is, you know, what can unravel us or really bring us our happiness but it looks like you're unsure of where you're at in this connection both of you are a little bit unsure 
We have Spirit is advising you to just go forward with your life. You have the strength, the courage, the tenacity, the power. You've tamed the beast within, and so you can trust yourself is what Spirit's saying. You can trust yourself to make sure that you're setting a goal and that <clears throat> you're living with integrity in that goal. So that what that would mean in a love reading is, well, I'm going to go out and I'm going to have fun. If living in your integrity is is owning that fun is saying i don't really expect anybody else to whisk me off my feet and get married you're being honest with yourself is a message here and that gives you strength and power because you have clarity about you know the portal that you'd like to travel through the uh, action that you'd like to take your short-term outcome in love is two of swords no big changes Two of Swords is sort of locking out the world. You're sort of very comfortable with the status quo. Whether or not, you know, something comes together isn't really so much on your mind. So it's a, you know, it's a status quo type of energy. So let's look here and see what we have for your clarifiers for this reading. So it looks like you're out to have some fun. You know, you're in this period of being very, very active really sort of redefining perhaps at a stage of life that's changed a lot of times this happens to us you know when we're when we're out of college other times it happens to us when we've raised a family and you know our responsibilities are over so it's really sort of change of lifetimes for you scorpio i see a lot of change coming up with the south node in scorpio here uh, in a few days actually you might want to tune in to the astrology readings that are starting on the on the channel. I do them separately most be mostly because some people don't like astrology, but boy, you may not be interested in astrology, but it's sure interested in you. But anyway, to each his own, right? At the end of the day, why is the Knight of Wands here? The Five of Coins. Okay. So the message here is that with the Knight of Wands that essentially this could cause you some pain. That basically, you know, the knights are always travelers. They don't stick around. That this may just be, this could be a one night stand. It could be a very short term affair. It may leave you feeling very cold. You may be motivated to do it because you feel lonely. So that can work either way. The tower card though says that this person could leave you out in the cold very suddenly. They could arrive at your door very suddenly. Your person could also arrive at your door because they've broken up or had a very bad falling out with someone else. Someone who may have represented player energy for you that's coming back. We do have Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde right now. So that is, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's see the Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Secretly, you're very, very happy that this has happened, that you get to have some sort of conversation with this person. Ah, about a breakup in the past. Okay. So for many of you, you know, there's always different storylines. It's like a buffet table, take what's yours. Cross watchers, it can also be vice versa energy. So we see that you are very happy about the event that somebody has contacted you that left in the past. Somebody that probably left you in the cold very suddenly. Somebody that wants to come back and reestablish a minimum of a friendship. The Eight of Coins says that you're open to working on this, you know that you love this person, that you've always loved this person, that you think you'll always love them. And that, you know, at the end of the day, we do get the Ten of Wands reversed. You don't feel burdened anymore. Those burdens were given away. And we also see the Ten of Cups. The Cups were drained out earlier. So, but here's the thing. The Ten of Cups is still a great card, even when reversed. It's still very positive. It shows that you love this person, but you don't have expectations. You're no longer carrying any burdens of codependency or, or difficulties from whatever challenges that you faced in this relationship. So this does look like an X return. The temperance card. Why do we have temperance here? This person's good nature. They're a good person. In essence, they want to come back and talk to you. Two of Wands reversed, okay. So they don't necessarily think that you would choose them, okay? I'm just not seeing that 
this person is not going to ask you to make a choice per se, but they do want to come in. They do want to speak with you. Um, they are going to, I think, tell you that they, they realize they made the wrong choice is what I'm getting here that whatever caused the friction between the two of you, your person looks like they're coming in very slowly, Knight of Pentacles energy. They may be single. They may not. It's hard to tell. For some of you, it'll be, you know, it could be either or. But the Nine of Swords, your person is very much up in their head. They very much, it's Gemini energy. The Sun of Pentacles is that, you know, coming back. But your person has a lot to say to you. And I feel as though it's very healing energy. That temperance card always makes us feel, you know, really grounded, stable, happy, joyful, feeling as though Jupiter has given us some good luck. The Ace of Wands, Eight of Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, I'm sorry. Eight Ace of Wands. It's Mercury retrograde. Ah, oh, the Fool card. They are hoping that you want a new beginning and that you will initiate one they're hoping that they don't need to initiate to get you back father of wands though you have a very proud fiery leo energy about you and at the end of the day it looks as though you're going to tell this person you're really happy to have them back in your life as a good friend eight of coins the two of you could hang out and the mother of cups that you really do love them we have that what twice here Oops, excuse me. Not here, but somewhere else. Okay. And we also have the Son of Cups. So the difficulty that you're going to have here is that you have a Page of Cups and a Queen of Cups, and you're very much the more mature person. So it shows that you're really not promising anything, but you are really welcoming this person back into your life in whatever way the two of you, you especially, permit. The Five of Wands, this person does seem to be texting and they seem to need attention. It is Leo energy. The Empress card, though, in their heart space, you're the one. You're the best. You're the best of the best. You're the Empress. Well, Scorpio, I can't think of anybody else who would be the Empress quite like you. Statistically speaking, I just read that Scorpios cheat less than other signs. Every other sign. You're the least cheating sign. Interesting energy. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords says that your person is really concerned that they betrayed you in such a way that you won't want to come back, but they do see you as their person. They are recognizing the harm that they did to you. They are coming in with the energy of the Page of Cups, offering a cup of love, Hierophant card. They're going to talk about what appears to be a marriage and the Sun card, but I think that what they're going to say is, we should. I should have married you. Um, my God, I was so happy with you that I feel as though they're going to have some sort of big promises here. I wouldn't take them too seriously, though, yet. Let them prove themselves. We have the Queen of Swords energy as clarified by the Queen of Swords. So that is, they are looking at you as somebody who's very much standing in your power, you're being fair, you know, fair and just. You are being kind, but it really is the energy that speaks to the fact that Four of Swords, your person knows that they hurt you. They know that you might not want them back. They're feeling wounded now. The Hanged Man says that your person doesn't necessarily see a way forward without an invitation, Scorpio. So the Eight of Wands, if the minute you wiggle your finger and say, come here, my friend, they will apologize and they will literally jump on it. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Keep a fire extinguisher by the bed, my friends. It is likely to combust, but I really don't know that you're going to allow this person to be your lover because we get the Five of Cups. I mean, they brought a lot of sadness. They brought a lot of difficulty into your life. So they're understanding. They understand if you say no, that there's a good reason, Father of Cups. They are very balanced uh, emotionally coming in. That is Scorpio energy. The moon card, what does it represent for the two of you here? Nine of coins. Okay, single, ready to mingle. It looks like your person is getting out of a relationship. Seven of swords, though. Wow, again. You're not really going to open up to each other a lot. You're just going to try to make the relationship stable. 
you you both really love each other but the moon is clarifying the moon there's not a lot of there's not a lot of I will, optimism is what I'm getting. I'm getting that they both feel, you both feel the love, but the optimism about whether this, a lot of darkness was a part of your relationship from this other person. And they're not thinking that you want to step into that energy again. Yep, Seven of Cups. They feel as though they can't, they can't do that to you, with you, the death card. So... What I'm getting here, Scorpio energy, is that I feel as though you're going to have this person in your life, but you absolutely are not going to do anything more than have some fun with them at best. Secondly, it would be that, you know, you are in the energy of having a lover. Spirit says that you need a lover who's not toxic. And this person is toxic. So we get the world card. So Spirit is saying, go ahead. If you think this person's toxic, close out the cycle. You know, step to the next level. You're on your own journey, Scorpio. That's very different from this person. It does speak to the fact that, yes, this was a soulmate in your life that was very significant. The toxicity of the relationship is a big warning. It's a red flag from Spirit and Mother of Pentacles. This person is looking for... a someone who actually almost needs a parent and so if you don't want to fulfill that role you know they seem to be paternalistic it's just parenting energy both of you have this strong parenting energy but it looks as though spirit is saying you don't want to become their mother you don't want you want to become their lover wife significant other basically right now you're not going to do anything two of swords clarifying the two of swords i cannot make this up Ace of Swords, you have clarity. Ace of Wands, oh my God, we started off with the Ace of Wands. Oops, Seven of Swords. Okay, so that was a different reading. I'm sorry. Is it the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Ace of Wands here. Okay, sorry. Okay, sometimes I forget. It's like that game of where is it? But we're getting the Ace of Wands here twice. You're just standing in your power. You're taking care of you. You know, you're taking action. The Ace of Wands is very much action. You know, let's look and see what the clarifiers are right now for your the realization that you're having. The realization that this is bringing you, it really opens up a portal. Okay, why you were left alone, why you were ghosted, why you were, you know, in this energy that, you know, you're really in the energy that it's time for you to really look at the inner motivations of people. And it's, you know, Scorpio, you know what they are. But to, to be, you need time alone is what Spirit is saying. We also get, let's see, wisdom. Okay, so why is wisdom here for you? The Hermit is searching for wisdom. The Ace of Wands is taking action. Strength card, you have all the wisdom you need, my friends. You just have to be willing to listen to that inner voice, as you know. Not let anybody hook into your desire to caretake or love somebody you're so good at loving. You do it till life or death do his part. So, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.